on the swelling and this swelling, what does mean swelling? Swelling that means size of volume will become big. This swelling, the size of the volume will become small, okay? And we do some research and also we bought this solution after we mix the polymer with the solution, sodium chloride or calcium chloride solution, we put it on the water bed to study the effect of temperature on the chemical reaction because in real situations we are dealing with a high temperature in reservoir because we have our oil is under the subsea, okay? That's why we uh, was considering on the effect of the chemicals as well as the effect of temperature. But we might go and continue doing something, you know, in the future with this research because this research is very important and this very hot topic during these days. And a lot of company in the United States and for uh, all the world, they try to decrease the amount of water and uh, increase oil production. First of all, I want you to understand what does mean mature reservoir. This word there, mature oil wells. Mature, that means you produce a lot of water, okay? You have a high amount of water produced with, with a little amount of oil, okay? That means, for example, we have 98% of water and we have just 2% of oil. And that's not economic, okay? The real situation is, uh, we would like, I mean, in the oil industry, we would like to decrease this water and we increase oil production. Today I'm going to talk about the decrease uh, unwanted water production from mature reservoir. My presentations will include these titles here, excess water production, we're going to have introduction. The second thing, uh, I'm going to talk about the causes of unwanted water production. Then I'm going to talk about reservoir heterogeneity and what does mean reservoir heterogeneity. That means that your reservoir is not homogeneous. That means you have more than one permeability. You have different permeability. Permeability, that means your, res your formation is permeable or not, okay? That's a permeability. That's the ability of the fluid to flow through the porous media. Porous media is your reservoir, okay? That's the place when we find oil, okay? Okay, then we're gonna talk about how can we solve this problem by water shutoff methods. And usually we have mechanical method and we have a chemicals method, okay? Okay, let me just talk about some of the statement of the problem and excess water productions of course, is one of the most important problem. Why? Because you know, excess water production might damage your equipment. It's uh, corrosive to your equipment, and you might have uh, some corrosions. Okay, and you, also it's cost a lot of money to re, uh, treat these waters. You know, and we need to inject it again, and it's affected our environmental. Okay, because of the soil. Okay, and. Okay, this is just to um, let you know about the, the amount of money that the world uh, uh, paid for the increasing, uh, decreasing the water. Usually, we in, in worldwide, an estimated of 210 million barrels of water, it's produced with 75 million barrels of oil. You see, it's huge amount, you know. Even the situations, it's it's almost three barrel of water with one barrel of oil, okay? But here in the United States, the situation is much more uh, worse because we produce ten barrels of of water with one barrel of oil, okay? Wow. That's that's a very bad because you have to spend a lot of money, you know, for taking this, treating this water and remove it from the from the oil, okay? <coughs> And finally, of course, if you produce very high amount of water, it's it's not good. You know, you you will shut on your wells because it's not it's not economic. Okay. Okay, we have some 
causes of unwanted water predation. I just wanted to explain it to you briefly, guys. Your measure is not petroleum, but I'll try to explain it to you. Maybe the picture. I like the picture, you know, because the pictures explain everything, you know. Okay. Usually I use a picture to let the student to understand it. Okay. Here we have well. This is our well. We drill the well and we have casing, and then we perforate to make a communication between between our formation, we have oil here, to make a communication between oil, between the formations and the well bore, okay? But sometimes we have some water is it's behind, it's come to our casing and make leaking to our uh, casing, and we produce this, this is one of the reasons of producing this water, and usually, guys, you know the gravity, I think everyone know the density, and because, Gas, it has light density, it should be in the top, oil, it's behind, and the water in the bottom, okay? This is, and usually in reservoir we have oil, we have water, and we have gas sometimes, and sometimes we have gas just dissolved in our oil, okay? But sometimes we have free gas, okay? But here in this, in this, in this situations, water has come behind oil, and this has caused a lot of damage to uh, to our casing because of the corrosion, okay? But this is salt water, okay? And the other things, it's from fracking. If you have, you know, fracking or you have something, you know, we have on fracking. Well, this is, uh, this is what we call it cross flow. And the cross flow, what does it mean? That means your water is come from, from the layer. When you have, you know, two layers, they are connected to each other. One has water and one has oil, and sometimes, we can have this cross flow and behind casing you can see it here we have water that's come behind casing okay we have another source we call it reservoir source that's one we call well bore source well bore this is our well bore this is well bore okay and this is the reservoir source reservoir source that's me your your reservoir okay we can have this situation, which we call it water conning, okay? That's when you produce with high, you produce with high flow rate, because if you produce with high flow rate, this work like, like sharing, okay? Because you produce with high flow rate, you take your oil, and you still have oil, but because of you, you produce with high flow rate, sometimes you produce water, okay? Okay. We have also it's come because of the frag from the water layer. This is this is the frag here. <coughs> if you have a frag, it's easy for water to transfer from the uh, water source to the oil source. And also, okay, water conning. I talk about it, and also from the fracking or fault between the injection well and the production well. Okay, in oil industry, we have a production well. We produce from production well. This is our production well, and we have injection well. Why we need the injection well? We need the injection well. Sometimes we don't have a brusher, okay, to lift our oil to the surface, okay. That's why we need injection well. We inject water to increase the pressure in our aquifer, okay, because water will push oil, okay, when we inject water. Okay, that's mean we need to increase the pressure. We call it pressure maintenance in oil industry, okay? <clears throat> okay, if you have, you know, communication between injection well and production well, that means some of this water could be produced, okay? And this is this is some of the reason also. Okay, and here, that's the mixture with the cross flow. Cross flow, you have water and you have oil. You have some of the water is come from the injection well because these layers, they are connecting each other, okay? There is no isolation layer, okay? If you have isolation layer, that's, that's good because that means you can protect your formations because this is, this is the protection zone and sometimes, sometimes you produce from high bare mobile formation and low bare mobile formation, but in case if you have high bare mobile formation, your water will go to the high bare mobile formation and you will produce it, okay? And this is, we don't like it in oil industry. 
Okay, what does mean bore aerial sweep? That's that's mean because we usually wash oil by water. Uh, that's in case of you have water flooding because you don't have enough pressure. You need to inject uh, water to wash your oil. Sometimes you have a bad sweep efficiency. That means bad washing your oil to the surface. Okay. Okay. Water oil contact, sometimes you, you have a bad uh, operator, bad design. Some people, they perforate in the formation, they perforate in water layer. That's make, you know, you produce water, okay? And also, since we are dealing with the fluids, that means we are dealing with a different density and different gravity, okay? Sometimes we have something we call the gravity segregated, okay? And this is also, it's one of the reasons of unwanted water production, okay? Okay, reservoir heterogeneity. I think I briefly explained it at the beginning of the, of the presentation today, but I will explain it again. Uh, heterogeneity. Heterogeneity is the most important reason for the reservoir problems, okay? For unwanted water production, okay? Because you have two layers and those layers they are not the same permeability okay if you inject water water will go to the high permeable formation okay and we have to solve this problem okay because this problem will affect our oil and gas production okay water shut off method okay we have to think about how we can close the high bare mobile formation or cor correct the reservoir heterogeneity remember guys understand what does mean heterogeneity because it's important if you understand reservoir heterogeneity that's mean you understand how to solve the problems okay okay reservoir heterogeneity we have high bare mobile formation we have low bare mobile formation okay we need to correct the reservoir heterogeneity what we have to do we have to decrease the high bare mobile formation or we can plug the high bare mobile formation if we decided that we don't need any oil from that formation because that formation already produced for a long time you know and we are looking for the oil which is including in low bare mobile formation okay but be careful because chemicals sometimes it's damage our formation because we have particle it might be penetrated to the low bare mobile formation and the black the high bare mobile formation and we, do, we don't need that we need to close the high bare mobile formation or block the high bare mobile formation okay and we have a two methods that we use in the oil industry it's a chemical method and the mechanical we have mechanical method and chemical method to decrease uh, unwanted water production in oil industry in mature reservoir of course Okay, mechanical methods, we have bridge block, we have backers, we have a tubing, batches, we have cement, and we have sand block. All of these things, okay, it's work to uh, uh, decrease unwanted water production, okay? Either by injecting cement and we block the hypermobile formation, or if we have isolated layer, we can send the backer and we install this backer between the high bare mobile formation and low bare mobile formation that's mean we isolate the high bare mobile formation and we decrease water production and this is widely used in oil industry because it's a cheap you know and it has no problems but cement and sand block and those things you know some chemicals might be affect low bare mobile formation in case of you have two layers they are connecting each other okay <coughs> Okay, chemicals. Okay, let me just jump this or okay, anyway, chemicals. Chemicals it's usually we use it polymer, we use it gel, we use it uh, some materials, you know, to block also to block the high permeable formation. Let me go to polymer is widely used.